What's up guys, Smalls here with 9to5Mac. Today we've got a bit of a different video and to provide context on how we got here, let me firstly just bring up a tweet from a guy named Chaos Tian who pulled a Touch ID button out of a Magic Keyboard and got it to work on its own. I found this particularly cool because to get the button to work with an M1 Mac, there's no coding required. You just need to disconnect the little board for the lightning port and connect the Touch ID connector to it. And it's pretty much plug and play. In addition to Chaos Tian also building a little housing for it, he made a very comprehensive comprehensive tutorial on how to disassemble the keyboard and get everything up and running, and I'll link that in the description below. Big shout out to Chaos TN, you're the MVP. But I wanted to take this a step further and build a chassis that would implement the Touch ID button with a Magic Trackpad. So I ordered a Magic Trackpad and a Magic Keyboard online, and then I went and bought an iFixit toolkit, not sponsored by the way, and disassembled the keyboard following Chaos T's instructions. And then I came up with a very rudimentary generic design for what I wanted this chassis to look like, the only problem is that I have neither the ability to actually design a 3D printable file, nor access to a 3D printer to test the design and whatnot. So, there's this rapper named J. Cole who runs a label with artists signed to it. This artist under him named Ari had an album with a producer named DJ Grumble on it, and Grumble has a co-producer named Lex who has a brother-in-law named Rob. And so I got in touch with Rob, who so graciously helped me design and test print this Magic Trackpad Touch ID chassis. So before we even continue, make sure you comment W Rob in the comment section, because none of this would be possible without him. Thank you, Rob. So I shipped off the components to Rob, and throughout the summer, he updated me on designs and printing status. And around September, we finally got this design that you see here. Rob doesn't have crazy high-end printing equipment, but personally, this is fine to me. And the idea is that you can get access to this design if you want and take on the project yourself and use different printing materials for printing if you'd like. As you can see, Rob designed the inner side of the chassis to perfectly seat the little logic board and touch ID connectivity. And we've got a port cut out for the lightning port to use this setup. And in case it wasn't obvious, this doesn't work wirelessly, unfortunately. You have to use the lightning USB cable for this to work, but that's perfectly fine for me, honestly, because that's all you have to do. Like I said, no coding required. We've got the support system for the Magic Trackpad itself above the logic board, and then a cutout that fits the Touch ID button itself perfectly. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You simply rest the Magic Trackpad on top and now you've got Magic Trackpad with Touch ID. Sort of. Honestly, you'd have to be pretty bored to want to invest time in doing this, but hey, if you want a bespoke and quirky little desk accessory that serves a real purpose, this ain't a bad option. I know a lot of people like the Touch ID functionality, but not necessarily the keyboards they're attached to. So this serves as an alternative if you're willing to get your hands a little bit active. But that's about it for this video. I just wanted to make a video giving something back to you guys in a way because all of you guys of viewers of the channel have given so much to me and all the other great contributors to 9 to 5 Mac. So if you want to print this chassis out, the file will be linked in the description below. At the time of me recording this video, Rob is actually dealing with post-marriage stuff, so he's been a little bit busy, but as soon as I get that link from him to access this design, it will be updated in the description below. And in some bittersweet news, this is going to be the last time you see me on this channel, but don't worry, there's still going to be weekly uploads from our awesome 9to5Mac video team. So be on the lookout for that, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you around.